Hello, my name is Margarita Köhl. I'm the head of the Department of Design at the University of Applied Sciences in Vorarlberg. And last week we had the pleasure to realize our first short advanced program entitled Game Changing Games here in Dornbirn. And we developed this short advanced program together with colleagues from IPCA, primarily with Alberto Simoes. And uh, it was a really amazing experience for all of us. And this is why I would like to share some insights with you now. And um, I will uh, show you some photos we took during this week and uh, comment on uh, the experience. So, um, yeah, the topic of this week was how games can change the world or rather um, can games make a contribution to sustainable development by encouraging ecologically and um, yeah, socially uh, sustainable behavior and rethinking? Uh, so these are the questions that 29 students uh, from Portugal, Ireland, Finland, Austria and Hungary, together with 11 lecturers from Austria and Portugal, dealt with um, during uh, this short advance program. Uh, so why games? Uh, games can bring complex topics to life and developing a game requires a lot of different uh, types of knowledge and skills. And therefore, when putting together the teams, we made sure that students with completely different backgrounds came together. So some had a background in game development with a focus on programming, others in communication studies or economics, and some had a background in design. So the students found this interdisciplinary collaboration in an international setting particularly enriching, as they mentioned afterwards. So um, the result of this uh, short advanced program uh, was six exciting impact games, uh, which were presented at uh, at a final marketplace in uh, the foyer of the university last Friday. Um, so some developed digital games, others developed board games. <clears throat> and the intensive week in Dornbirn um, was developed entirely to the implementation of the games and uh, the games um, covered a wide range of topics. So, for example, how does it feel to walk in the shoes of an endangered species or which materials can be recycled and how and how can empathy um, be developed for people suffering from social anxiety, for example. So the concept, concepts for the games had already emerged during a collaborative online week in early October, during which the students received input on game design, storytelling, interaction design, programming and character design and explored topics such as circular economy and biodiversity. This was also the time for ideation and concept development. So each team um, was accompanied by two coaches who also had different backgrounds. Some had more a technical background and others had more a background in design and storytelling. So in between the online week and the presential week in Dornbirn uh, were two weeks of remote collaboration where the students also met with their coaches. During the online week, uh, there was a lot of input um, which could probably be reduced a bit. Um, what was really surprising for me personally was how happy the students were to meet in person in Dornbirn. And uh, one person suggested this, that, uh, um, that it would be better to have the presential week first, which I'm not convinced of, as it is more probable to really implement the project if the presential meeting takes place after the online week. The most impressive thing for me was how far uh, the student got the students got as they really managed to complete a whole board game or at least uh, one level of a digital game. We collected the participants' feedback, um, saying 
uh, that they got, um, that they would have loved to stay for a longer period of time and that they really appreciate the experience. Some of them would have preferred to have more time for teamwork. Um, they also gave us feedback considering the type of input they would like to get additionally, such as sound design for games or more programming. We are really looking forward to the next edition of the SAP uh, Game Changing Games, which will take place in Portugal at IPCA in uh, 2022.